would need to call me at your earliest opportunity. You were right about Kate's precarious mental state. Hey, Spinelli, got your message. I need to see you right away. I need to know everything you found on Kate. You found a sample of Franco's DNA? Yeah, I'll bring it to you. Where do you want to meet? Um, General Hospital, 10th floor. 10th floor, okay, what time? I don't know, uh, is 15 minutes okay? Make it half an hour. I'm about to go into a meeting. Thank you so much for that. Hey, what's, uh, what's going on? Did you get bad news? Why are you uh, standing in the hall? Because I'm being ridiculous. I have to, I totally forgot that I made an appointment, and I forgot my jacket. What, an appointment for the, for the baby? Yeah. That's, um, that's great. I'll, I'll go with you. You don't have to. Uh, I, yeah, I, I know. D but seriously, Jason, it's just one of those routine checkups. Yeah, it's but you, be get really to, you get to hear the heartbeat, right? I, I just, I, I want to be there for that. Where you should be is with Sonny. His trial starts today. Well, I, I can do both. You done fighting me on this? Yeah. Good, I'm going to get my coffee. Drop me off and then head straight to the courthouse. Sam, I, I'm, I'm gonna be a father. I don't I don't want to miss any of it. Not like I did with Jake. You've been thinking about him a lot? This baby is gonna know every day how much I love him. Or, you know, or her. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my yeah, employees I... reveal shocking information regarding your. Ah, uh, you're a person of interest. Person of interest, huh? What are you guys up to? It's, it's not a good time. No, just... I, I, I stay. Deal with whatever it is. I'll call you when I'm done. Didn't you hear anything I said earlier? I, yeah, I did. That you wanted to be involved, and I love you for that. And you are going to be involved a lot, especially at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. You're going to have those hands are going to be hands-on, diapers, feedings. I'm going to dump everything on you, I promise. You seem concerned about First Samantha. I mean, she says she has a checkup and it's routine. She just seems really tense. Well, would you like to reschedule our conversation for later? That's fine. No, I need to know everything that you found on Kate. Okay. Well, uh, let me see where to begin. All right, you, you said that Miss Howard was acting unbalanced, uh, as it were, violating just basic courtesy, calling you names, yes. what? Spin right, up. so now it seems that there is indeed something wrong. Clinically and disturbingly so. So it would appear Kate Howard is seeing a psychiatrist for a most serious condition. How, how sure are you? Well, I stumbled across her file in Dr. Keenan's office. What, what were you doing in his office? I was looking for evidence to clear Maxie, and, and though my suspicions proved misguided, I did have legitimate reason to think that Dr. Keenan was involved in Lisa Niles' murder. But he wasn't? No, and now it is imperative that I find another suspect before Maxie gets locked up for life. Is Maxie still sticking with the confession? False confession. Do, do you think you could go talk to her? Maybe? Really, when, when does she ever listen to what I had to say? Well, that's the problem. She doesn't listen to anybody. Look, I, I know that you're worried about Maxie, and I will do anything I can to help, okay? But right now, I need to focus on Kate. Yes, I'm sorry for steering us away. It's okay. You said her condition was serious. Well, I, I don't... I don't exactly know what specifically is wrong, only that it is most grave. Based on what? Dr. Keenan has the appropriate papers to commit Kate Howard to Shady Brook against her will. Hey, Natalie, I gotta go. I love you too, sweetheart. Bye. Hey, thanks for meeting me here. I hope it wasn't too far out of your way. No, not at all. Um, I, I kind of, I don't have a lot of time. Now, let's do this quick, all right? Yeah. There it is. FBI issued classified. That's it? Hmm. DNA for Robert Frank, a.k.a. Franco. You. No, 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 please, no one, no one will know where I got it. Good. I need to stay in the good graces of the FBI. Never know when I might need something. Thank you. I really appreciate your help. Yeah, is, um, your husband mean you? No, look, I know you think I should tell Jason about the DNA, and I, I, I can't. Not right now. I know you want to protect him. Yeah, of course. Why is that so hard for you to understand? It's not, but at the end of the day, you're still lying to the guy. What do, you, this, do you think this is how I envisioned my life? That I, I'm lying to the man that I love? I hate what I'm doing. Then stop, Sam. Stop. 
you kidding me? Jason's sworn enemy is his twin brother. If I can assure him 100% that this baby is his, then that's what I'm going to do. What happens to the baby's Franco's? I, I don't even know what to do with this or if I should do anything at all. You, you truly believe that, that Sonny has no idea of her mental difficulties? What, when I tried to tell Sonny about Kate the other day, he, he wouldn't even hear it. Yeah, but you're his most trusted friend. He quite literally trusts you with his life. Finelli, he told me to back off and to leave Kate alone. Well, it's difficult instructions to follow. He almost country. bit my head off just for suggesting there might be a problem with Kate. How can I tell him his girlfriend's certifiable? I can't, I can't say anything without proof. Yeah, your hesitancy is understandable, but... You said she was irrational. She was right? She was very irrational. Okay, and Dr. Keeney thinks she's fit for Shady Brook. Maybe I should just leave this alone. I mean, obviously, Kate knows there's a problem. She's seen a doctor. What else is she supposed to do? Look, the commitment form said that she might be a danger to herself or others. What kind of havoc could she wreak if she's left unchecked? Whatever this is with Kate, just keep it between us. Yeah, of course. Okay. And it would really help me if I knew exactly what was going on. Can you hack into Kate's medical files? Uh, sadly, due to past incidents, I'm on the hospital mainframes watch list. But a certain FOS is not. Okay, great. You stay on that. I'm going to actually see if I can catch up with Sam at the hospital. Uh, Stone Cold. Yeah. The prospect of a baby gives me reason to smile during these dark times. Yeah, me too. Wow, I mean, if the baby winds up being Franco's, uh, I don't know, nothing will ever be the same. But I'll find a way to tell Jason, I'll find a way to love him through it. I hope it works out the way you want it to. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> hey, thank you. I mean, not, not just for this, but for listening. Just, it, it's... It feels so weird still being here with you. Why is that? They were put where we're meant to be. I'm scared. I want this baby to be Jason's. Just do the test. You know, the longer you wait, how long it's going to take for you and your husband to find out what you're dealing with? Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. You? Uh, ready for the day to be over and it barely even started. Mm -hmm. Surprised to see you here. I thought you'd be at the courthouse with Sunny. Yeah, actually, I'm on my way. Sam had a checker for the baby. Today? Yeah, uh, right, right now. Well, she's not with Dr. Lee. She's right around the corner talking to some guy. 